So just woken up out of bed, and a uh, question someone asked me, I said, Harley, how long did it take you to get 1.8% body fat? And what they're referring to is this clip. Am I really 1.8% body fat? <laughs> I'm not actually 1.8% body fat. That's more a bit of a, a troll bait comment. 1.8% body fat is, uh, you know, you, you're probably going to be in a, a prison or war camp to get that down to that level. It's not a healthy level to be at. You know, what body percent fat am I in? I haven't done any recent DEXA scans or underwater weighing, so I can't objectively say. Like last night, I ran a 118.42 half marathon. I'll put the link down below. So that's objective data. I don't have any DEXA scan tests or underwater weighing tests, which are the most accurate way of measuring body fat. Skin fold calipers, that doesn't mean shit because I can eat a lot of salt and your skin fold measurements are going to jump up. You can test your skin fold the day after a big race where you're dehydrated or flushed out a lot of salt and your skin fold measurement's going to be a lot less. So skin fold is totally inaccurate and then you have the variable of who's giving that skin fold. Are they being generous? Are they sort of, because I worked at a gym where we were told to, as the client progresses over time with their gym membership, make sure their skin fold measurements are going down by either writing in a false number or pinching a bit less. So skin fold does not fucking work at all. It's very subjective. Wouldn't even recommend it. What about the Tinita scales? How to measure your body fat? Tinita scale, they don't work because I can jump on a Tinita scale and it says 5% body fat, which is the lowest they go. It says 5% body fat. I drink two liters of water, it goes up to like 12, 15% body fat. So they're very subjective again. So the only accurate way is DEXA scan and underwater weighing. That's the only accurate way. So does it matter? You don't need to get your body fat measured anyway. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> what matters is how you feel and that you don't need drugs or whatever to perform. You can just do it naturally, 100% clean, that you don't need caffeine at all. You can just do it. 100% clean. That's what matters. Having that emotional strength, having enough carbs, enough sleep, enough water. That's what matters. So my 1.8% body fat, I look like I am, but I'm not. 1.8% body fat is, uh, that's, that's, that's prisoner of war camp style. What you see though is what people will do is create the illusion of lower body fat, that really artificial illusion by taking diuretics before they do a video or you know, transformation video on YouTube or whatever, they're taking all these, these banned supplements, banned products, illegal substances. If you're, I'm a competitive athlete. If I test positive for any of these supplements, these supplements these people take, I get a two-year instant suspension and my name gets spammed all over the internet on the cycling forums, the running forums. Oh, Dura Rider, he got busted for taking something that, you know, the guys on YouTube take. <laughs> but I get fucking two-year suspension and people on YouTube just, so don't get caught in the rut of thinking, comparing yourself to someone who's on drugs, who's on diuretics, who's on the, these fucking DMAA jack powders or whatever. Don't compare yourself to them because that's an artificial level that's not really sustainable. It's not sustainable at all. When I say real, it's never sustainable. You can't thrash your adrenal glands, you can't thrash your, your fluid levels that much and get away with it. You're always going to pay. That's why everybody knows, I mean, when I'm 35, Everyone knows, at my age, someone who done all that, who's be really fucking jacked, and they're the fat as fat as. That doesn't make them bad people, it's just a bad choice, it's a bad path to go down. If you go down the stimulant path, you're going to fuck up. It just don't go down that path. It's not worth it. Yeah, you, you get extra benefits initially, but you will pay. You will pay. And do you want to be fit for life? Do you want to be fit for life, trim, in shape for life, or just a few years? Ask yourself that question. Thanks for watching. So 1.8% body fat, not true. 4.8% body fat, probably true. Thanks for watching. Post your comments down below. We'll see you soon.